Hi, Rob again. Let's start our application development. So, to start with, we want to run Xcode. So, we're running Xcode. Uh, if you don't have Xcode, download it. The specific version that I'll be running is 7.2, but of course, I would recommend that you grab the latest. Um, and the version of Swift right now is 2.1. Uh, once again, you can probably just use the latest, I'm sure. Um, so, we'll start by creating an application. So, go File, File, New, uh, Project. Um, and that gets us to our template screen where we choose our starting point template. I'm going to choose the single view application. That's the one that basically starts with nothing. We'll just add the bits and pieces that we want. If you know you want, say, a tabbed application, you could choose this template instead. Uh, there's a little description down here what you can expect, but basically um, application development is pretty simple, so we're going to go with the, the blank application. Let's start with that. Uh, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it um, uh, image play. That sounds good, because we're playing with images. Uh, little nickname for the organization. That sounds good. Uh, Swift, absolutely a must. And we're going to make this universal, so it could run on an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, if you want, yeah, simple as that. So let's click Next. Where do we want to store it? Um, I'm going to vote. Uh, yeah, application sounds good. Documents, yeah, okay, let's do it here. Um, yeah, we'll just place it right in our document directory. Now, I've also got source code control turned on, uh, which is an awesome thing to do. So you will want to load Git on your Mac, and then you can check this option. And uh, yes, yeah, so this will be placed under version control. Uh, an absolutely fantastic feature. So let's click Create, and our application has been created. Um, okay, so at this point we have an application that does nothing, uh, but let's start it up anyways, uh, and while it's starting we can do some other stuff. So at the moment, uh, well let's see, it says these are the different simulators that are available, and I prefer the iPhone 6, so we'll just go with that, and let's start that up. So this is the first time this application will be run um, on this simulator, so you know it's it's booting and will take a little while. Um, once you've got your application, you know running, yeah, this little boot process goes by much faster. Uh, but this first time, eh, it's a little slow. Um, regardless, we can charge ahead and start adding something to our application. So. Um, Here's our empty application. Uh, it's got a couple of important things, including our view controller. Uh, oh, there's the version of image play. I'd, oh, yeah. So here's our application running right there. Um, cool. Okay, so we haven't added anything to it yet. Let's go to a place called our storyboard. So our storyboard shows us the different views that make up our application. And at the moment, we just have a single view called, um, well, it hasn't been given a name, so it's the view controller scene. Um, I guess um, the simplest thing we could do is create uh, a hello world. So why don't we do that? Let's, let's put a text box on there. Uh, text field, yeah, that sounds good. So I'm going to grab this text field, I'm going to plop it kind of in the middle, and go Hello Swift. Yay! Okay, and I'm going to click Run again to get our emulator to run it for me. And there we go, Hello Swift. And it's off to the side because, um, well, it's off to the side. Uh, had I wanted to remember that this is kind of an abstraction of where things are placed. Uh, on some devices, on an iPad, you know, it would be a little more square. On a phone, it's a little more like this. Uh, if I really wanted to control where this is and 
smack it right in the center of the screen, then have to start adding constraints to say that. Um, actually, the simplest way to do it is just like this. I'm going to add two constraints, so it's always in the middle of the screen. Let's click Run again. It starts it up again, and this time we're right in the middle of our screen. So there we go. There's the world's simplest uh, application. Um, and uh, this is a good point to uh, move on to the next video. So uh, thank you for your time and hope you keep following along.